Hey team, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be taking a look at a post from r slash engineering students titled, it's not possible to just use AI to get a degree, especially for STEM degrees. Oh, also over 90% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. It doesn't really do anything for you, but it helps me out a lot. So thanks if you do that. I've seen quite a bit of talk about college students using AI to cheat through school and how it's worrying for careers like nursing, engineering, etc. I don't really understand the argument because one, people have been cheating since school was a thing. And more importantly, two, it's not even possible to just use AI throughout in all classes, unless maybe you go to an online college. Can you use AI on homework? Yes. Essays? Yes. Exams, quizzes that are still primarily in person, especially for STEM degrees? No. Even without going into how hard it is to be a doctor, and they go through many stages of education that one can't just use AI to get through. I see this as just the current hype about students. What do y'all think? Hmm. So the AI discourse has now extended to beyond just cheating in an isolated instance. It's more about, can you achieve the entire thing using AI, right? Because the discussion right now is, oh, are students using AI to cheat on tests, on classes? But now it's gone even farther, which is like, can a student use AI to cheat on a degree and then get into like a profession. And this is one of like the big problems with AI right now. If you read any book on AI, pretty much every single one will identify the same problem, which is that AI is being used and developed way faster than it's being regulated. So stuff like this is gonna pop up where it's like things have gotten so far to a point where we're like, oh, we don't really have rules on what to do here. And when there's no rules as human beings, we're like, well, let's see how far we can take this thing. Even with rules, yeah, Humans are always like, let me see how far I can push the boundary. So with the technology as powerful as AI, with no rules, humans are gonna start to go a little wild. But OP raises the question, just how wild can humans go? Can someone get an entire STEM degree just using AI? And my knee-jerk response and reaction is to say no. Because like they point out, exams, quizzes, those things that really test you and are probably the majority of your grade are things you can't cheat on. Because you know, these tests happen in classrooms, in lecture halls, where the professor and the TAs are gonna be walking around and checking everyone, make sure they're not cheating, make sure they're on the right page if they have any questions, you know, and then they'll go by your test, take one glance and then say out to the class, hey, remember everyone, read the questions carefully. Some of you are getting a little mixed up, I think. <laughs> so by nature, yeah, it's hard to cheat in those things. And those things, yeah, probably make up like 90% of your grade. But even if we get away from the school part of it, right? The whole grading and oh, me getting a degree with this GPA. If you get out of that, I don't think a person can be part of a profession if they never actually learned anything. Because sure, they can somehow squeeze out a passing grade. Test taking is something that you can get good at. So even if you don't learn anything from all the assignments you did, you can still pick up on like pattern recognition and see like, oh, what form are these questions being asked and what formulas can I apply to them? And then use those on the test plus your test taking skills in tandem and then probably, yeah, squeeze by with a passing grade. Now that's probably all much more work than actually learning the material, but some people will see that as the easier option. But taking this easier option will lead you down a road where you don't actually learn anything. You learn how to get a degree in a thing. You don't learn how to become a professional in this field. And I think that's the biggest problem. Test aside, grades aside, these are people that don't actually understand the things they're being tested on. And so yeah, you can get a degree. Anyone with a degree knows this. Once you have a degree, the hard part is using it to get a job. And to get a job, it's not simply enough to show them the piece of paper you received. You have to show that you know what you're talking about. And all the people that used AI to get this piece of paper will fall very short when it comes to the interviewing process, when it comes to actually getting into the profession. So actually, I think my answer is yes, it is possible to get a degree using AI, but it would be incredibly difficult to then get a job. Also, would you even want that job? <laughs> like what's the point of cheating on this degree just to get into a field that you don't know anything about and that probably means that you don't really even care about it. Like if you used AI to get the degree, you probably don't really care about that field, right? So why would you want a job in that field? That will lead to like more problems down the line. So if you are a student that's seeing one of your contemporaries, right? Another student you rub shoulders with, um, I would say don't sweat it because yeah, it's kind of annoying in the moment, 
but down the line it's gonna hurt really bad for them i don't know what point in the process it'll happen but eventually they're gonna hit a wall and that's where like actually investing in your education in a real way will pay off in the moment yes it can be very frustrating because when you're in school the one thing that matters is oh that darned grade and so how is this person that doesn't know anything about this subject doing so much better than me well because they're measuring themselves using a grade not actual skills and that's probably a whole nother conversation about like the flaws of the schooling system where it's like the grades don't probably reflect how much you care and know about a certain topic but we won't get into that here but what we can get into here is the comments so let's take a look at the comments see what they say i've had multiple professors say go for it good luck when it comes to using ai on homework because it can't actually do a lot of it especially for specialized topics people say it can code well but that has not been my experience lol oh that's interesting <laughs> so kind of calling the bluff because the professors are like, oh yeah, the AI that you're using, that's not good. It's not gonna know how to do this stuff. But I don't think that's true. I think AI is now to a point where it can probably handle anything. It won't, you know what, I'll edit my response here. I don't think it'll give you the exact right answer, but it'll give you enough to where you don't have to really know what's going on, but you can still get a right answer. You know what I'm saying? Like AI rarely just spits out output that you can copy and paste but I think it gives you the beginnings of an answer that you can pretty much piece together to form your real answer. And yeah, with AI coding software, it's all pretty bad right now. It's good if you wanna create like a complete project, but then when it comes to actually debugging the project, then it's just all, yeah, you're really in the weeds. It's just not worth it at that point. Will be very easy to tell the people that studied and learned the material versus the ones that use AI that's terrible at the moment at least for stem yeah i think this kind of goes with what i was saying where once you get into the real world there'll be a very very stark difference in the real world people that used ai in school you'll start to see kind of gaps in their problem solving and their understanding of the topics like concepts will seem familiar to them because they've heard them before but they won't actually like mean anything to them i remember my first real hard engineering class in which the professor welcomed us to cheat on the homework because it won't save you during the test, which are 90% of your grade. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, that's almost exactly what I said. I even used the 90% number. And that's true. Yeah. And that's the thing about AI, right? I think OP talks about it where it's like, yeah, people have cheated forever. So it's like not a new thing that people are cheating, but it's new that they're cheating with AI. And that's the thing. I think with cheating, if you're going to cheat, like you still have to be smart about it. Like a dumb cheater is so obvious. It's like insulting. A dumb cheater feels insulting because... The professor's probably like, wait, did you really think this wasn't going to get by me? How dumb do you think I am? <laughs> so yeah, the people using AI right now to cheat, they're probably going about it in a smart way, which makes it sometimes hard to detect. But hopefully the individual realizes at that point that it's just going to hurt them more in the long term. And so you would wish that that person would realize that quickly and get off the boat so that they don't hurt themselves down the line. And so that you don't hurt yourself down the line and miss one of my uploads, make sure you subscribe, like the video, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you in the next one.